Hello, this is Andrew with Faithful Journey RV Services coming to you from Cocoa, Florida today and just wrapping up my latest solar install project and I'd like to share it with you. So behind me, you can see, is a 2023 Thor Gemini 24K Class B motorhome. My client contacted me asking me to install a solar system on his rig so he doesn't have to use his generator so much while him and his wife are traveling. So let's take a look at what got installed. So, so in the back of this Class B, this back part is normally open all the way across, but we extended the, the wall across that we would have a place to mount the equipment to and the client was more than uh, fine with that he's still got plenty of uh, other storage on the other side so it wasn't a big deal to lose a little bit of space and then this way too it keeps all of this electrical components separate from the rest of the storage so we went with 400 amp hours of victron lithium batteries and as you can see there's a space here it's already prepped for another 400 amp hours uh, whenever the client decides he would like to add two more batteries. So we got the Lynx distributor, we got the main uh, maintenance disconnect here, we got the smart shunt, we got our positive and negative bus bars, and then we have our solar charge controller with the PV disconnect, we have our DC to DC alternator charging, and then over here is a home built, or not home built, but in-house built, here at Faithful Journey RV Services, a generator start stop function that connects to the servo to start and stop the on and generator automatically. This is something that I build in house and also configure and sell as well. So, and then we have the servo as previously mentioned and then this is also the, the battery management system for the Victron batteries because they have external BMS. So this is the brains, the electrical portion of the cell. So you might wonder where is the inverter? the inverter charger well let me show you because we wanted to keep this place clean and there wasn't enough space to throw in the, uh, the multi plus inverter in here but let me show you where it went so we're inside of the rv now walking towards the back of the unit and off to this side is the driver's side and below here is where that electrical bay was but conveniently located on the other side of the wall is the storage compartment accessible from inside and as you can see the multi plus is sitting here so multi plus is here the was convenient the transfer switch it was right there so i uh, was able to move that over to tie into the electrical system so one of the things we did is with these solar installations you can keep the 120 volt system of the coach separate from the 12 volt system that came with the coach so typically we can install a solar system just by um, adding it or changing the 120 volt side of the rv but what we did in this case is is we brought the 12 volt side of the rv over as well to this installation this way the customer doesn't have to maintain a coach battery he doesn't have to worry about any of that hassle so we removed a lot of that wiring and those some of the electronics that was associated with it and we were able to tie in the 12 volt side of the coach to the solar the installation that we just did but one thing that we did is and i didn't show you because it's behind the batteries is we put a device that's called the battery protect and so because the 12 volt side is tied in uh, we didn't or i didn't want the customer to be able to drain those batteries fully dead so what the battery protect does is in the case the battery voltage drops it gets too low it'll cut that 12 volt side so you can't continue draining the 12 volt side um, you'll have to then plug it in charge it fire up the generator so a little extra safety precaution because we're tied in the 12 volt side to the solar install as well and then i'll show you here by the entrance door is where we located the touchscreen. So that's what that looks like. And then this is the generator start stop screen. So let me give you a tour of what it looks like up on the roof. 
So this unit from the factory came with a 100 watt panel and a 10 amp, I believe it was a Go Power solar charge controller. That has been removed and has been replaced with 400 watts of rich solar panels that are now connected to where the factory wires were coming in. So, and we've already seen today 411 watts coming in on the solar. So I was able to get these three and three and a quarter inch tall brackets to bring the panels up to allow airflow to keep things cool underneath and it's working well. So with that, we're going to wrap up for today on this installation on a 2023 Thor Gemini 24K Class B motorhome. Mouthful. 400 watts on the roof, 400 amp hours of lithium, a 3000 kVA uh, multi plus inverter charger. Uh, let's see, it's got the generator auto start stop. It's got battery protect for the 12 volt side because we tied that into the coach. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh yeah, DC to DC charging, solar charge controller, um, quite the install, quite the happy customer. Thanks for watching.